Ladies and gentlemen, BKB presents three two-minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing in this catchweight contest. Introducing first, in the red corner, he's a prolific fighter in the cage and the ring, making his BKB debut tonight, Wesley O'Neill! Across the ring, his opponent stands in the blue corner, fighting out of Croydon, Chazza Real Talk Simmons! Barry to Patterson with the instructions for the fighters. Well, it's best not to both of you. Three, two, one, round. Don't forget the 20 second standing count. Yeah. Good luck to both of you. Let's get down to business. Carrington Patterson for this one. We're off and running. First round. And Simmons oh, comes looking. straight in. Oh, he's down. He's down. Oh, oh he's hitting oh. down. He's oh. in trouble. Simmons is in trouble. Yeah. He hit him when he was down. Yeah. I mean, I know he's getting he's a bit excited. He was down, though. Yeah, he was definitely down on one knee. That's a count. You know, there's no excuse for that, but I mean, to be Simmons, fair to Simmons, I think he was just, just caught up in, yeah, caught up just, in the emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the emotion. Oh, look at his, his the uh, adrenaline. He wants a medic. I think, you know, hitting him when he's down is one thing, but. I think when you're high and you're going and you're yeah, coming and in. Yeah, and emotion, you know. It's just, you're caught up in the moment, exactly, aren't you? Exactly, yeah. And, and he's using adrenaline and confidence. I don't think it was intentional to he, hit him he wanted, while he was on the deck. Because but. I saw him in the way and he was that focused and that determined to come and beat this guy who he thought had yeah. disrespected him coming in overweight. He just what And you saw that, Yeah, didn't you? you can see it. He's started the way he's, you know, he's bouncing around. He's ready to roll again. He's using that confidence. He's using energy. He just wants to get that guy out of there, you know, and he to wants to fair, win. He wants to win. To be fair, he was so angry with the fight against Lawson, he wanted to prove a point exactly, tonight, you know, and he it, said he would, and he's done it. It's over. over. Chas Simmons, and he ro he rocks. Oh, hang on. What's he done? The referee's telling him you. There's something going on here. Oh, I think he's called because and no it, contest. Yeah, no contest because he hit him when he was on the floor. No contest. No. You see, his corner's got. Uh, that's a former British champion, Rhodes. Uh, no. Um, oh my goodness, that'll come to me in a minute. Well, I mean, I don't know what's going on there. Is it because of the, the shot on the floor, which we get? You know, there is rules that we have to abide to. But was that the fight that hurt him and caused the stoppage? And what I was going to add to you, just it's a good point there, Tom. Actually, because what actually caused the cut, which could do with seeing the replay there, see what caused the cut. If the shot on the floor while he was on the deck caused the cut, fair enough. There's no complaint in that ball. Was he trying? Was he throwing the punch? Here we punch? go. Here we go. Was he throwing the punch as he went down on the knee? No, 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 no. That one. no, yes, a, no, 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 yes. It, it wasn't on the yeah, way no, there. No, I got to totally down. agree with the decision on that one then. Uh, we, I didn't, you know, we didn't realise, because of the angle, how, um, how blatant that actually was. He won was. it and sport it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would be well, and you know... Well, we'll find out what the referee's decided, because we don't know. Let's cross to the ring announcer, Lance Murdoch. Can we get both fighters to the centre of the ring, please? Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth contest of the evening, after consulting the judges and the referee, this fight is declared a no contest. Rules and you know you've I got to stick to the rules and everybody will be getting away with it. Tom. I actually thought, oh, he's caught him on the way down. But when you see the when replay, he's like, yes, he's exactly. actually down and he's hitting. And then he hit, there was a bit of a pause. He you can see he's on one knee and then he hit he him. So need to do it. Exactly, he didn't Tom. Need to do it. Exactly. So uh, Jason Matthews. Jeff, you and you in and you have too many. <laughs> I can blame it on there, Carl. For hitting me too hard. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can blame it on watching you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's who, that's who he is. Um, yeah, is Jason, Ma Jason Matthews, yeah. Good cornerman, but not, yes. gone their way, not gone their way today. Well, let's cross to Glenn, who's going to talk to Chas Simmons now. Chas, 
you've got to be disappointed. You've trained long and hard for that. I talked to you before the fight. You were disappointed. Your opponent came in a stone heavier than you did. What happened? Nothing happened. Um, I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to start fast, non-stop throwing. I've been, I've been in there before. I've had a broken nose, I've had a cut eye. I knew what I was expecting, so I went in there, toe to toe, and kept throwing. This ain't boxing, it's bare knuckle boxing. I, you know, and it's, it's kill or be killed. And I, and I didn't know he went down on one knee. I, I saw I had him, so I threw the uppercut in, split his face, and I just got a no, no contest. Like, yeah. Emotions, emotions are gonna, gonna be very high. You've got loads of, you've got fantastic support that have come here to watch, and you must be so disappointed because your emotions do run high and you're just trying to, you're trying to get them out of there. Well, you know, one minute I'm getting told, it's not boxing, it's banner or boxing, you've got to be aggressive. And I've done that tonight and I still, got a, still didn't get a decision. I don't know what I've got to do to get a decision. Um, listen, I would, I would have put him asleep in one round. As soon as I put the jab on his nose, I see his face squint. I thought he's all mouth, no trousers. His jaw was about to go to a walk and uh, I done what I had to do. And, Basically, that's a win to me. That's a knockout win. That's a knockout win. Jason Matthews in the corner. Here we go back a long way. Are you are, are you a permanent fixture to bare, bare knuckle boxing? No, it's something what I've always been a cheat of, and it's like I met Chaz, and he's the real deal. You know, he doesn't give a damn. He goes in there, knock you the hell out. Don't give a damn. He spars and does the same thing. I mean, what I saw was the guy was going down. He wasn't really on one knee. It was a bit half up. And Chad's hit him and, it's, and he stopped it. But, you know, if the guy wants it again, I doubt it. But if he wants it again, we're here, we're here, we're here again. We'll be training the same. You got, you think about it. He got down to 74.5 kilos. The guy came in a stone heavier than him. Well, judging by his weight, he didn't want it this time, did he, really? So, um, so we're going to see a lot more of Chad Simmons. Definitely, definitely. I'll be back. I want that W. I'll be back. I want to thank my trainer, Jason Matthews, Jack Devlin, Bill down at TW1, Gary Bedford. I want to thank all the Battersea boys. I want to thank, yes. I want to, I want to thank everybody that's coming tonight from social media to being my friends, the celebrities on the celebrity table, my missies, I got to give her a shout out. Big Nevin, big Stella scaffolding, dab a laugh. Flex FM, I'm going all in. Uh, uh, thank you so much, I love you all, and I appreciate everyone else.